name is Charles, and I want to welcome you to the God Principles Living in the Philippines. This particular video is going to be about when Mr. Desperate meets Mrs. Needy, how to have healthy relationships. <music> My name is Charles. I'm a certified recovery coach. I've spent nine years developing coaching skills, coaching framework, helping men recover from damaging situations that have led them to a lifestyle of drugs or alcohol. And when they come off of this stuff, they need to be coached, which is a framework of how to, to help them rebuild their lives. But during this process, we have to recover from the spiritual, mental, and physical aspects that are the residual resorts of the lifestyle they had been living. Now, that being said, I have noticed, and this includes myself, there was a story I heard of when a man, he was lonely, and so a young lady started showing him some attention and he ended up marrying her. And he came in and told us about how after they got married, she started abusing him. Then his children started, her children started abusing him. I'm talking about Mr. Desperate and Mrs. Needy. You better understand when you run into Miss Needy, she's coming from a state of desperation. She's in need and she's experiencing problems at the lowest form of existence, food, clothing, and shelter. So when you come in here and you meet a young Filipina and she puts this pretty smile on your face, you suffer to lose your mind. But realize you're talking to Miss Needy and you, Mr. Desperate. You're Mr. Desperate here. You've come out of a situation in America or whatever country, and you have a desperation to be loved. And they can spot that. They can spot that because what happened is, and I can tell you what I did. I thought by coming in here, improving her lifestyle was going to make everything all right. Until I went up to visit her family. Now realize this girl was used to living in a bamboo shack, sleeping on the floor, outdoor toilet. She had spent 15 years as a housekeeper. And me thinking, Mr. Desperate, meeting Miss Needy, thinking by improving her lifestyle, was going to be all right. I was wrong. I was wrong. Because once I improved her lifestyle, all of a sudden, I wasn't good enough no more. Yep. I wasn't good enough no more. Remember, they tell us what you do to get her, you got to do to keep her. Once I improved her lifestyle, clothes, monthly uh, allowance, she didn't have to work no more. All of a sudden, I wasn't good enough. Yep. I wasn't good enough no more. Here it is. I didn't took her out of her situation, upgrade her lifestyle for her and her daughter. And then I'm, she started raising hell in house. All of a sudden, she went from Dr. Jekyll to Mr. Hyde. Right before my eyes. And I'm saying, who is this person? Who is this person? Look, I met this girl as a LDR during COVID. We were on the phone all the time during COVID. I came to the Philippines to visit her, visited her family, and her parents asked, 
that we spend the first year here in the Philippines. On retrospect, I believe that our parents may have suspected there may have been a problem because they did have some concerns about expats having problems with Filipinas and they actually had some murders. So I understood that, but let me keep going. The unhealed wounds and not being able to spot those red flags in her may be an issue. I started spotting the red flags when she, the very first month. However, I was dependent upon her because I hadn't established a network for me to rely on so I could transition outside of the relationships. That took seven months. That took seven months for me to learn how to navigate in the Philippines and how to create my own lifestyle here. Now, this is what I'm going to suggest. If you are in need of some counseling or some sessions, I'm a certified recovery. I learned how to deal with these emotional traumas that are unhealed wounds like insecurities, resentments, there are ways to get over it. But here in the Philippines, you have to be real careful because so far I had to pay that girl an extra 8,000 pesos so she could have the money to leave. No problem there, but I have other men going through that too. Click like, click share. I'm gonna leave some links down in the description of this video. And remember this, think before you act and act like you've been thinking. My name is Charles. Thank <laughs> you.